Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the flight test of the MJX uh, Bugs uh, 3 uh, entry level uh, quadcopter. This is also called uh, Bugs 8. It's uh, the same uh, model. It has uh, two different names. Uh, the only difference is uh, the top uh, casing here. This has a green uh, side here and looks more like a bug and the other one looks like uh, more like a quadcopter, regular quadcopter. This is more buggy than the other one and that's the only difference. The rest is absolutely the same. So I have installed my Pocky FPV here, which I'm going to use as a DVR. I also have the uh, original uh, FPV monitor here, which I'm going to use. It's not going to be a very acrobatic flight, uh, more of a test to see how the quadcopter moves around, how the camera looks. I have inserted an SD card, we'll have uh, footage from uh, the onboard camera as well and from the DVR. So let's uh, power it on. So I'm going to connect the battery. Right, so I should get here uh, FPV footage and I already have it. So I'm going to start recording. Recording has started. All right, and I'm going to turn on the FPV monitor and the transmitter. And that seems to work as well. So I'm going to start video recording by holding the camera button here pressed. And now I should have yes video recording here. It shows me on the monitor, which is again a useful feature. So let's uh, take it into the air and see how it goes. It's a bit uh, windy today. Uh, and uh, it's kind of gusty, the wind goes away, then comes with some force, then goes away. So it's going to be a bit tricky to fly, but hopefully we won't have any kind of problem. So I, I have unlocked the motors, now I need to lock the motors or get this away. Alright, so that is better. And there it goes. Very smooth for a racing quadcopter. That's nice. It does have some punch. Actually, it has a lot of punch because this is only a 2S powered quadcopter. It's not like it's on 3S or 4S or something uh, extraordinary. But still nice. You can get some really nice speed with it. And it's very smooth. I wouldn't uh, have expected it to be a gentle flyer. I was expecting it to be shaky and all around the place, but this flies like a nice uh, Bugs uh, 2 GPS quadcopter, only the, that it does not have any kind of uh, GPS. The um, LED lights are also very nice because uh, uh, you can uh, orient yourself better when you are flying uh, line of sight. Of course, this is FPV, so you shouldn't uh, fly it line of sight. But uh, when I do reviews, I like to do that because uh, I have better control over the situation. I can uh, check all the buttons, uh, check uh, what uh, people, uh, if people are around, cars and so on. So I don't want to make anything stupid. So no FPV during uh, most of my reviews. But you can get an idea of how this thing goes. Wow, that was nice. Let's see how fast it goes up. So I'm going to get it close to the ground. Then I'm going to do a full throttle up. So this is maximum. Uh, it's not impressive. But still fast and nice. I like the fact that uh, if you 
uh, turn uh, the throttle completely off the motors will not stop into the air you need to lock them after you get down from the air and that's nice oh no it seems to stop the motors now that's strange or they just drop to a very small rotation speed yes they do not stop they do idle but very slow so slow that it will still going to fall back and um, I was saying uh, that this is nice because uh, uh, it's easier to get uh, control back after you get uh, throttle uh, uh, to zero comparing with uh, idle so that's uh, good uh, it's bad when uh, you have a crash because you need to quickly uh, usually you need to quickly lock the motors to prevent ESC damage but this has uh, a so-called motor protection in ESC protection uh, it somehow detects the locked motor and uh, when uh, that happens it will automatically turn off uh, that motor to protect the ESC and the motor itself which is another nice feature so I'm going to do some more flying around as you can see nothing too extreme today I just want to get a feeling of it the FPV footage is uh, decent I like it not a lot of uh, static and uh, I'm uh, flying here in a FPV uh, not FPV sorry Wi-Fi infested area uh, that doesn't have a problem with the FPV stream but can have a problem with the uh, control and for uh, what I'm using here as uh, around 100 maybe maximum 200 meters there's no problem with it I'm going to do a quick adjust to the camera because I'm not flying too fast and it's pointing too much upward so for gentle flights I'm going to make it look a bit more down so I'm going to lock the motors now and orient the camera a bit not downward but straight should be enough so just a bit okay just a bit downward so we get some ground into the video and let's fly again now I get too much ground into the view but if I get some altitude I can shoot some ground video now this is mostly for uh, assessing camera image quality this should uh, have uh, 720p resolution And you can see for a racer this thing is like a GPS quadcopter very smooth very smooth and uh, it has a kind of uh, extra stability added to it which I really like so this uh, so-called entry level is very good for uh, beginners because you get uh, the no uh, a GPS uh, locking uh, system and uh, no barometer uh, height uh, control but uh, it is uh, sporty and uh, it's still easy to use so definitely a nice flyer to learn uh, on it so 
I think that's uh, what uh, MJX uh, was thinking when they told uh, about uh, entry level racer because this is not uh, very simple or very cheap cheap it is but uh, it's not uh, cheaply built as you can see it has a pretty decent flying time it has uh, two way telemetry so you also get warnings when uh, uh, the battery is uh, getting low or uh, you are losing uh, control range so that's very nice Okay, let's do a few more passes and we'll call that a successful test. So we are already at almost 10 minutes of flight or at least at video recording because the onboard camera has a timer and uh, that was a beep I don't know if it's range or battery so I'm going to bring it closer it could be range so the video recording has 10 minutes uh, all right so that is the battery Uh, that was not a nice uh, landing <laughs> and you can see the ESC protection has kicked in and it has turned off the motors so that works very nice and I'm going to stop the video recording all right so I'm also going to turn this off so what uh, was uh, I wanted uh, was uh, I was saying is that you have to wait telemetry on it. Uh, this will warn you about uh, your battery getting low, and uh, my video recording was at uh, 10 minutes already. So uh, the battery has uh, plenty of uh, flight time, and this is rather light and efficient. And uh, that's a very nice feature for beginners because you want uh, more flight time. Uh, to have a kind of safety because you don't want to run out of battery in uh, mid there so that was very nice uh, because even if you don't uh, hear this which also as you heard it has a beeping alarm uh, your transmitter will going to signal you that uh, issue also uh, never forget when you uh, are doing video recording you need to shut down first the onboard camera with the button here because if you pull the battery out the video recording is still in progress and uh, that will cause the crash in uh, the video file system so avoid that because it will not be good for your video files and after that you can uh, unplug the battery now I should uh, also stop the Poki DVR which hopefully has recorded all of that the recording was stopped and let's see do I get some video files here yes I have a camera here and Poki FPV yes we have also video from the onboard camera very nice hopefully that will work in my editing program so this was uh, the maiden flight test of the bugs 6 or 8 uh, entry level uh, racing quadcopter i hope that uh, you have uh, enjoyed this uh, because i really did uh, enjoy flying this quadcopter and uh, it wasn't as i was expecting it at all i was expecting it to be more uh, unstable or uh, tricky to fly in gusts of wind 
and it was nothing like that it was very easy to pilot so until next time bye bye